Okay, well, I guess I'm a content creator now, so here goes nothing. Um, lately, I've had people ask me for beginner tips, which has got me thinking. What do I wish I knew when I was learning how to skate? So I made a list. And disclaimer. Uh, this is advice for younger me and may not necessarily apply to you. Uh, or may just, you may just think differently, and that's fine. Um, take what you will and don't what you don't. Number one, enjoy it. It's good to have goals and things to work towards, but I feel like having fun should be the overall main goal. If you're like me, skating is an activity to get away from responsibilities, and the last thing I want is skating to feel like a chore or a job. I, mean, I find things come a lot easier when I'm feeling good and happy to be out skating. Really, why do anything if uh, you don't have to and you don't want to? Number two, get comfortable spinning both ways. This is something I really regret not learning early on. Uh, I only feel confident spinning clockwise, and uh, it severely limits my trick vocabulary. Uh, I'm not saying you need to learn how to 900 both ways. Uh, if you did, that'd be impressive. But uh, learning to spin both ways will open lots of doors for tricks, and uh, it gets harder to learn as time goes by. So the sooner you can start, the better. And uh, being comfortable spinning both ways also benefits the riding ramps and bowls, which leads me to tip number three. Learn how to look over each shoulder when skating backwards. Uh, I'm only really good at looking over my left shoulder, and uh, looking to my right feels like I'm throwing a ball with my left hand and uh, that's awkward and ineffective. Uh, looking over both shoulders is crucial to being able to shred bowls and it also goes hand in hand with learning how to spin both ways. Number four, focus on basic skating. I know, I know, grinds and airs are fun and feel really good, uh, but in order to do those tricks, you're gonna have to learn how to approach and land said tricks. Also, the better you are at rolling, the easier those tricks will be. Check out these clips. Even the skating between tricks looks awesome and you can tell they feel right at home on skates just by watching them roll around. Mix in a little creativity and you can pull off some amazing things. Knowing how to skate can prevent a lot of injuries, which leads me to number five, learn how to fall. This is one that saved me more times than I can count. I'm not exactly sure how you would practice falling since it's more of kind of like a reactionary thing. Uh, I can't offer some advice though. Pads, guards, and helmets are the primary way to prevent injury, uh, but I wouldn't rely on those alone. Uh, I'd recommend training your instincts to minimize as much potential damage as possible. Uh, you can learn a lot watching parkour and how they compress and roll to reduce impact. Uh, you can watch pros and see how they react when they miss a trick. When you're trying a trick, be aware of potential dangers and be prepared to bail if something goes wrong. Number six, style, style, style. Skating is a visual sport, so by all means, try to make it look good. Uh, personally, I'd rather watch a really stylish, easy trick than a sloppy, hard trick. It takes a long time to develop your own personal style, but I say try to do your tricks the way you would want to watch them. A good start is by watching your favorite skater's movements and positioning very closely, and try to mimic how they do it. Also, record and watch and rewatch yourself skating to see how you can improve. It's number seven, just ask. In my years of skating, I've never come across anyone who isn't more than happy to share their knowledge and experience. And if you ask a genuine question, you'll get a genuine response. I know some people may not have any other skaters in their town, but social media exists. Uh, Reddit, rollerblading, rollerblading, Groupon, Facebook, um, YouTubers, Instagram, they're all great places to get advice from. Number eight, gear. Now this is a personal opinion, so feel free to disagree. Especially in early stages, equipment is not a huge area of focus. You can have the best, uh, most expensive setup out there, but unless you're a collector, it isn't going to be much unless you know how to use it. I say invest in skills before you invest in gear. Learning in less than optimal skates may be harder at first, uh, but it'll make you a better skater in the end. Small soles and H-blocks will teach you how to be precise, and if you ever decide to upgrade to a larger sole and or H-block setup, basically make you feel like you're cheating. Rosie's M12 and Razor Colts skates along those lines are very budget friendly and easily accessible. Uh, they're really actually amazing skates and people have been killing it in them for literally decades. Number nine, ride flat. Uh, this is another personal preference, uh, but I know too many people that can only skate anti-rocker and yes, it's harder to grind flat if you're not used to it, but at the sacrifice of grind space, you gain speed, turning, and the ability to ride down, possibly up stairs. Plus, your wheels will last longer and landings won't be as harsh. Once you've learned how to skate flat, it's easy to switch to anti, but if you only know anti, switching to flat may feel like having to learn how to skate all over again. Number 10, enjoy the ride. Go at your own pace and 
feel your own flow. And nobody's going to be Oigan Eden on their first year of skating unless you're some sort of freak of nature, which if that's the case, congrats. And why are you even watching this video? But exercise some patience and realize that most things take time. As long as you love what you do and you keep at it, you'll get better and better and better.